I'm Laura, the general manager here at the Davis Food Co-op. One thing we really value um, is feeding and providing for our community. Um, with that, uh, we are a grocery store, but on the other side of that, we very much care for how we contribute to the community through food rescue. One of the things um, that our store, or quite a few of the things that our store actually does is give to a lot of local um, food banks and organizations that help to feed the community that is in need. Uh, we also um, track, we've always given, but just implemented a tracking system so we can know just how much we are um, donating or composting. We have always donated this much, but now we really wanna know what are we giving and where is it going to? And we wanna be able to celebrate and share with the community the great things that the co-op does in order to promote food rescue. And for that, it requires some technology, some training, and all of that work has now gone into um, putting that into live action. And our staff has just started using that a few weeks ago. So we're excited to see the results of what we do and how much we donate and where it goes. Every morning when I open the Davis Food Co-op Produce Department, I start my day by grabbing two banana boxes. We then label one with a C for compost and one with a D for donation. And then I start on my morning. And so throughout my day, I fill these up with produce that is no longer um, able to be sold on the floor. And then at the end of the day, I weigh it all, track it, and then put it in its proper place, either in the compost bin or our donation rack. Right now we have a lot of citrus, and so a lot of citrus is in my box. We got some things like our satsumas. Those are super delicious, but it is coming towards the end of the season, so we are seeing a lot of cosmetic issues with them, either um, scarring or really loose Hi, my name is Kathy and I'm the kitchen supervisor for the Davis Food Cop. I've worked here three years now and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our donation program. Um, every morning when we get to work here we pull shrink off our grab-and-go wall, our bakery floor, and uh, Night Market comes and picks it up during the day and it's distributed to the community park and to anybody that needs some food. Hi, I'm Michael Brantley. I'm part of the grocery team. I've been here 37 years. I am mostly the uh, grocery buyer. So during my day when I'm stocking, I'm looking at all the dates and seeing if they're still okay to be on the shelf. If I see something that came in that's been damaged or not suitable to be on the shelf, then I give it to our receiver and she will write down the things that could be returned to our distributor if this need be, or donated. Some of the stuff is up to our own discretion whether it's still okay for, the, for people to eat. And if it is, then we will either donate it or we'll give it to staff or we'll put it in our freeze outside for people to take. So if I see a can that's too dented, I will uh, throw it away because it's too far gone and the inner seal may, may be bad, and I can't take that chance. In cans, they have an inner plastic seal inside that keeps um, things, uh, the tin alone is not enough. They use a plastic seal inside. If that is so far damaged that that is broken, then it's no good. The, the stuff is exposed to the air and it could, could hurt you, potentially hope, hurt you. So that's being thrown away. Hi, my name is Patrick Beckett. I'm an owner at the Davis Food Co-op and also a member of the Board of Directors of the Davis Food Co-op. I was part of the Strategic Planning Committee um, that put together a five-year strategic plan for the Davis Food Co-op. For this, we had six high-level priorities or goals, and one of those was focused on sustainability. So sustainability at the Davis Food Co-op uh, relates to things like use of utilities, use of water, but a particular emphasis is on minimizing food waste. This is something that the state of California itself has prioritized in recent state legislation and something that we feel is very important at the Davis Food Co-op. So there are different ways we're going about trying to minimize food waste or food loss. 
Um, one of those is by donating food to various nonprofit organizations. We also, at the Davis Food Co-op, have a fridge, which is uh, an actual refrigerator where we can put food that can be uh, taken by the community. We also are making sure that the Davis Food Co-op's building is more resilient to things like power outages, um, to ensure that we don't have to um, throw away or discard food, which is mandated by the county if, if the food has not been refrigerated for a certain amount of time. So we're looking into systems that will ensure at least those critical parts of the food co-op's uh, food system does not go down and we can salvage or recover that food. My name is Dan and I'm the manager of the deli at the Davis Food Co-op. So we do, we, we are good with our composting and another thing that we do is that we have a stock bin. So things that are good for stock scraps like carrot ends, onion skins, the end of celery, the end of tomatoes and things like that. Before we compost them, we use them for stock. Uh, and then afterward they go into the compost bin. We keep track of all of our waste products uh, in terms of why it is being pulled from the shelf, if it's tired, if it doesn't look as good as we want it to look. Uh, we track where it wants to go, if it's being donated, if it's being composted. And we track that weekly in a binder in the kitchen and then that is put into the computer every week so that we can look at it over a longer period of time to better figure out ways to cut down on our waste. And that's what we do. Thanks.